in the course of development of the company, we started to think that most of the projects on the market, like basically all of them, are bringing only crypto solutions for the crypto enthusiasts. So the crypto market is like this. The traditional market is like this. You know, there are much more people and much more capital on the traditional market than in the crypto space. So we started to think how we would like to, how we can attract those people from traditional market and what we can do to connect and increase the adoption of the blockchain. We figure out that all the elements that we are building in here, we in here we can uh, introduce to those people. So for example, I can imagine that in the nearest future, we will allow people to use their credit cards, the people from traditional market, to be allowed to invest directly into projects that are launching on our platform using the fiat money. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Crypto Weekly Podcast, the show where we interview the top movers and shakers in the crypto industry. I've got a great uh, interview for us here today. I'm joined with Paul Waskarzewski and Michael Domarecki. Um, welcome to have you guys. So nice to, uh, to finally chat in person and looking forward to a great conversation. Nice to Hello. meet you guys. Hello. Thank you uh, for inviting us, and it's a pleasure to, to meet you guys. No, uh, of course, of course. And um, full disclosure from my audience here, I, I am an investor in this project. And I like to, um, you know, say that up front, because I really do put my money where my mouth is. And this is definitely a project that I that I believe in. So um, congratulations on all your success thus far. But um, for the for the those in the audience that aren't necessarily as uh, familiar with the space, tell us a little bit about Synapse Network and, and what you guys are trying to accomplish. Okay, so in here we are building basically a cross-chain investment ecosystem because we believe that the cross-chain will be the next big thing on the crypto market. Why? Because we have DeFi products, we have NFTs, we have a lot of different working blockchains which came out every day, every single day. And the problem is that each one of those is a silo today. They are not talking to each other. You have a lot of money put into those different blockchains. And the real power of uh, the DeFi market or other areas of the blockchain space will be seen when we will connect all those chains together. And then that will be a real start uh, of this, of this uh, space and technology of the uh, global markets. Absolutely. And I, I fully believe that right now we're kind of in the phase of the intranet. Uh, before we got to the internet of yeah, of, exactly. of blockchain. Yeah, that's so exactly what we're thinking as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Internet in the block, but those blocks are not connected together. So, so they need those young guys that are climbing to the roof to you know uh, have a uh, connection between the buildings. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and part of the reason you know why I'm so excited about this project. You guys are so ambitious, working on you know many different facets of the fundraising ecosystem. One thing I wanted to ask is, you used to be a gem starter and you had a very successful launch pad, but you chose to switch your name to Synapse Network. Can you tell me a little bit about your thinking? Uh, yeah, on the name switch. The Launchpad name was, uh, everybody was thinking that we are just uh, a Launchpad. So Gemstart and name was, you know, like Soul Starter or somebody else. Uh, that we and it was giving the people thinking that we are focusing only on one thing. And that's not true. So that's one, one element. But also at the very, very beginning, when we started this business with Michael, we were thinking to build only Launchpad. But two weeks after that, or three maybe, we started to see a lot of other potential elements that we can bring in here because our expertise of our experience because of the team that we have built in here. So the team was able to build something greater than Launchpad, even though even though that the Launchpad is crushing the first in the world crushing Launchpad. So even though they were thinking and we were thinking that we can bring something, build something bigger, much bigger, and. That's how the idea of the investment ecosystem came out, where we have our cross-chain launchpad, our cross-chain DEX, our cross-chain different marketplace, investment syndicate, together with uh, incubator that is helping uh, early stage projects to grow, to be able to fundraise, to be mature enough to fundraise on the launchpad, then to be listed on our DEX, because we can list on cross-chain DEX projects and tokens from different 
uh, chain, so that's not a problem at all. And then uh, with uh, marketplace and this uh, investment syndicate, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how you guys are able to bring a project from just early stage ideation, incubation stage, all the way to finished product, you know, with with getting them connected with investors. So let's talk a little bit about the incubator. What uh, what are you guys planning to do to work with these early stage businesses to, to help get them ready for, for launch? So for that particular element, especially we have uh, launch also this investment syndicate. So investment syndicate is a group of investors, capital companies, is group of technological companies, uh, influencers, calls, etc. So business angels, even though. So uh, those people are able to join the startup on the early stage to support them, to provide different services. So for example, in our uh, investment syndicate currently on, we have Dutch crypto investors, we have Moon Whale, we have uh, Fractal, and we have uh, Chainlink. Chainlink is our official Oracle provider to those projects. So the main pain point that young projects have is access to those people, because you know, through cold leads, it's not so easy to catch them, to start the cooperation. But with us, they will have a fast track access to those people. And within one day, then can start cooperation, discussion, integration, etc. Because we, this was, this was part of the deal with those, uh, with those companies. So that's why we would like to provide them this expertise. But this is external expertise. So we also have our internal one. We have excellent developers that can help them to understand the business uh, in terms of technology that, that can help them to understand the limitations of current blockchains, of web free solutions, what they need to pay attention to. Uh, so that, that, that kind of stuff. So the second thing is we can help them with uh, the ability to understand the market performance of the token in the future in terms of the type of business that they were dealing with. So it's also something that young founders usually don't understand because they see only, you know, the TGE event and know a lot of after that. And this is the most important moment after the TGE, what to do to prove that we are not only able to fundraise, but to deliver. So that's the second element. And the third, we have an excellent marketing team. Uh, without, with zero pennies spent on the marketing, we were able to build a lot of like tens of thousands of people across all the social medias. Uh, and they, they did it. So this team built it. So we also would like to invest our capital and our efforts to the project that we are launching in terms of marketing, because on the crypto market, it's one of the most important elements. So that's how we would like to incubate them. Yeah. And, you know, that's such a great, um, such a great breakdown of all the different things that you guys are doing. And as we, as we know, you know, the idea, the team, the product is only such a small sliver of the business here in the crypto space. You know, so much of it relies on community investment, how, how big your network is and, um, you know, how many people are, are looking to, to market your project. So I think that's, that's an amazing kind of all um, basis covered approach. And I, I think that's why a lot of uh, startups are going to be really eager to start uh, working with, you um, we're working with Synapse. So let's let's talk a little bit about bridging the gap between the crypto markets and the traditional markets. Um, I, I know, you know, a lot of these launch pads right now are so focused on bringing in capital that's already in the crypto ecosystem. But one of the things I love about Synapse is that you're helping to bring in traditional investors and give them exposure to these early stage projects. So can you talk a little bit about how you're kind of bridging that gap and working with with the traditional investment world? Yeah, so this is something that we are uh, the most proud of uh, beside the uh, cross-chain solution. Uh, why? Because in the course of development of the company, we started to think that most of the projects on the market, like basically all of them, are bringing only crypto solutions for the crypto enthusiasts. So the crypto market is like this. The Traditional market less like this, you know, there are much more people and much more capital on the traditional market than in the crypto space. So we started to think how we would like to, how we can attract those people from traditional market and what we can do to connect and increase the adoption of the blockchain because it's all about um, to give them ability to use our solution. So uh, 
we figure out that all the elements that we are building in here, we in here we can uh, introduce to those people. So, for example, I can imagine that in the nearest future, we will allow people to use the credit cards, the people from traditional market, to be allowed to invest directly into projects that are launching on our platform using the fiat money, because that's not a problem at all. Even uh, we can imagine, we know how to make this happen, to mm, tokenize traditional business and allow them to fundraise on the crypto market. So that's also not any problem at all. So we know how to make this happen. Uh, we, when, when we are talking about DeFi marketplace, which will connect different DeFi products from different chains, will introduce even some cross-chain DeFi products. So this is something that is holding rail of this, of this market. Uh, we will be able, with slight changes in the um, regulation, regulate, regulate, regulatory changes, we will be able to in, introduce a true financial institution instead of just DeFi marketplace, because we will have everything in place. So all the financial products will be there. And even though uh, that this is a product for retail, we will have the technology part. So we can also have a B2B partnerships with different banks on the market that don't know how to deal with the uh, crypto space. And already we have some questions from those guys. So, you know, uh, because in the last couple of years I've been involved into the financial sector, traditional one, I have some connection. They are asking uh, us, guys, so what we can do to enter this market? Because we, sh we see that there is a huge opportunity out there which we are missing. So what we can do? So our answer to that will be, okay, we have a product for you that you can use within your ecosystem. You will just pay us as a, a B2B contract. So this is part of the business that we would like to have in here. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's remarkable to see how much money some of these projects in the, in the crypto ecosystem are raising. And yet they're still swimming in this small swimming pool of crypto specific investors, where if we look at the traditional world of investment, it's like going out into the ocean. So um, I can only imagine Synapse Network is just going to bring so much more liquidity to the to the crypto ecosystem by allowing all of those traditional investors to, to invest. And, you know, you, you have to think, you know, why would a project want to raise capital from only this specific subset if they now have the ability to go out into the broader world and work with some of these larger institutions? I think you hit on something really interesting in that point um, with respect to letting people use credit cards to pay. Um, and I think one of the big problems we still have in crypto is that it's just so hard to get involved. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, a little bit more about how Synapse Network is just making it easy, how, how it's making it so, um, you know, straightforward for somebody to get involved in one of these projects that they believe in? Yeah, so uh, how we would like to do this is basically the crypto space is not mobile friendly. All the people on the market are right now using mobile phones on, on the traditional market. Uh, and even on, on mobile. So everybody is dreaming uh, to use MetaMask properly without any problems on your phone. And that's still a huge problem. So uh, we would like to change that by introducing our own uh, solutions, our own uh, perfectly fit UX design that is working on the mobile phone that is uh, straightforward for the user. So the user don't need to ask us about how to use this kind of solution. He will just know because that's the uh, approach that we would like to have in here. Uh, so this is one of the most important in our opinion element because for example, using different DeFi products on the markets very often very hard because the people don't understand how to work with. It. They don't know what the APR or impermanent loss when they are providing liquidity to Uniswap is. So, you know, you, you need to explain them really easily what's, uh, what that means. So this is our approach to provide the best UX possible that will be very straightforward and obvious for the people. So that's one thing. And the second thing, if there will be still a problem on the market with several elements, we will provide our own tools to change that. So that's the uh, another thing, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Now. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about your token generation event because you have a, uh, a token launching soon. 
can you just talk a little bit about the token economics, how the how the SP token will work and um, you know, what are some of the benefits of, of holding SP? Okay, so <laughs> I love this question <laughs> because there is so much to tell you about. Um, okay, so the first element of our token and of the tier, because all the launch, but I will I will focus mainly on the launch, but because uh, all those uh, utility features will be available from the start. So uh, all the launch paths on the market are based on tier system and the, the level of tier uh, that you possess on the, on the platform gives you the amount of money that you can invest into the project because it's directly connected to that. So the first thing that we introduced in here is uh, anti-whale system. So our tier pay is based on that uh, in favor of um, low cap investors that are the majority on the market. So we would like to bring this investment opportunity back to the people. And by that, we and all the math is uh, included in our light paper. You can read about this. So we calculated that using uh, very advanced math. And that's how we brought all those uh, levels, uh, tier levels, to be in favor of those low cap investors. So that's the first element uh, um, of, our, of our token. The second one, uh, our Mm, tier system is based on the amount of uh, of the value of tokens that you stake, not on the amount you stake. So that means that the level will be always the same. So never will change. Like for example, in other projects, you need to possess like ten thousand of tokens, but the value of those tokens can increase in future. So that means that a lot of different people will be not allowed to enter the system because the price of the token will be too high. In our case, it will always be, it always will be like you know. 500 US dollars, the base level. And that means that if the price of the token will increase, the user will automatically get higher tier. So that's the first uh, utility that we gave to those people. If the project will gonna grow, the people will grow together with project. So that's the first element. The second is if we will have a better run in the future and eventually this kind of stuff will happen and you know, the. Uh, curse of the, the 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 value of the token will change uh, and decrease. Uh, we are we have introduced a price security uh, solution for the people. So if they will get a certain level, and if the price drops, they will not uh, they will not be able they will not uh, be decreased. They they tier level will not gonna be decreased uh, unless they unstake. So till the moment they. Uh, on stake, they will save the same and they will ha still have the same tier level. So that's the second uh, security feature that we have introduced to those, uh, to those um, investors that are believe in us. Uh, the second, uh, the third uh, and the fifth and the sixth are rewards for the people. So we are providing them, if they are staking just to have the tier, the certain tier level, they will get uh, rewards from staking because we have the special for, pool for staking. Then we get the reward from liquidity mining because they can stake liquidity tokens that, because they are providing liquidity. Uh, and they will also get something very beneficial for the hodlers that are holding tokens for, for a long period of time. We introduce within the token a 0.5% fee. And this fee is paid and is a reward to the people that are staking our token for more than 30 days. So this is something uh, uh, that the reward for the premium staker, we call those people premium stakers. So those all elements are giving our token a new unique value. And uh, this also should uh, decrease a circulating supply because the people will have an incentive to stake those tokens on the platform because of the rewards and because of the tier level that they will keep even if the price drops. Of course, of course. And I think that, uh, you know, that's a very holistic plan for tokenomics. Sometimes, um, you know, companies can throw that together in, in, in a few, <laughs> you know, throw together a plan for tokenomics in a few hours, but you guys have clearly thought this out. Talk a little bit about the different tiers uh, in, in the launch pad and what, what some of the you know, benefits you would get for, for being in a higher tier? Uh, so you will get, the tier is based uh, on tickets. So 
with different tiers, you will, are getting uh, more tickets. And when the project will came to us and will say, okay, I would like to raise X amount of money, we are asking the community who would like to be who would like to be involved into this investment opportunity. Uh, after getting uh, responses from those people, then we are calculating the uh, total amount of tickets. We are splitting the amount of uh, money that the project would like to raise by amount of tickets, and this is giving us the uh, value of one ticket. And that's how we are calculating the allocation that each user can have depending on the tier level. And as I said, tier level is uh, um, giving you less incentive if you are whale or big company possessing a lot of tokens. That's why, uh, because we would like you know, to, to, to do this tier level uh, in favor of of, uh, of those low cap investors to provide them opportunity, uh, not to buy only you know a, a one percent or five percent of the overall uh, of the overall allocation, but to give them much more. Yeah, so that was uh, an initial uh, idea of this. And I think that's such a major point and major piece, and why why I kind of fell in love with the project is you guys are really focusing on bringing that value back to, to the traditional retail investor. It's been so long that all of this early stage capital has come from large VCs and um, only the, the hedge funds and the ones that can afford it. But what crypto does and what you guys are doing is flipping that on its head and allowing the, the people that are truly passionate about the projects to invest. So I think that's... Um, you know, that's, that's an amazing initiative that you guys are taking on. And, and I think that's, you know, a long time overdue. Mm -hmm. um, tentatively, you guys have your token generation event scheduled for July 15th. Um, yeah, tentatively, and we are looking at the market conditions, you know, to, to be sure that this is the best moment also to save uh, our investors, to save ourselves, to make a bigger impact on the market. Because yeah, everybody knows how the market is performing. So so that's why we are considering all the uh, informations that we are getting from different sources, you know, to uh, make the best decision. But for now, the date is uh, set up, but not written in stone. <laughs> got it, got it. And you guys are also running a contest right now. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, could you repeat? Can you tell me a little bit more about the contest? Well, maybe Michael, you will take this one. <laughs> yeah, well, because Michael trying... is the author of, of the contest, so he knows the best. <laughs> the main thing is to attract more community members to, to, to our Telegram groups. So we, we, we are giving 5,000 USD dollars to split it to 100 people. Who will who will do a certain things? The the contest is going through a, a Gleam competition, so everybody who want to join can find it on our on our Twitter or on our uh, Telegram group, Telegram Amazing. channel. And I believe that runs until July second, so this should be out uh, a few days before the end of the contest, yes, which is yes, great. Yes. Um, yeah, so, so so that's awesome. Now, if people wanted to get involved with Synapse, uh, how would they get in contact with you? So we are still on Telegram. We are av available uh, on our uh, on, under the email, so uh, they can contact us through Telegram. So we are on the most social media available uh, on the market. Uh, just you know, to be here for the people, uh, so they can. But the, the easiest way is to join our Telegram group and to start chatting with us. We are answering most of the questions by ourselves. We have some community managers. But you know, we like to be very close to the community, uh, and that's why we we are still out there. So, <laughs> well, speaking about the projects, if they want to if they want to to fundraise with us, there is a, a form on our website to 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 applic, uh, about that. So yeah, beautiful. Uh, and is that uh, the Gemstarter website or the the synapse? Synapse .network. Synapse .network. Synapse.network, uh, okay. and there is in top right corner, there's a button apply for fundraising. So it's very obvious, uh, but the people sometimes trying to, to sub subscribe them to whitelisting process <laughs> for that. Uh, but this is uh, the place where you can uh, apply to, to fundraise together with us for the first cross-chain solution in the world. Amazing. Well said. Well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you, Powell, Michael. Thank you so much for your time. You and it's much. great to finally meet you face to face. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.
pleasure to meet you uh, face to face uh, also and to uh, have such an opportunity to uh, be here today. Absolutely. Well, I look forward to seeing what you guys accomplish and, and um, look forward to hearing back from you guys in the future. Take care. Mm -hmm.